In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the absolute best match defense in Madden 22, and this is an absolute bag against the Gun Bunch meta offense that a lot of you face week in league and tournaments, and this is the best bunch defense, in my personal opinion, in Madden 22 to date. Now, if you're new to the channel, I would ask that you please subscribe to the channel. I do new videos every single day that can help you get better at Madden. We try to share offensive and defensive tips every single day. The second thing that I would ask is that you consider joining my True Fan membership. My True Fan membership is $10 a month, and it gets you access to every single defensive and offensive ebook that I am releasing in the Madden 22 season. Now, guys, I have just finished recording my uh, match defensive game plan. I polled my community. You guys said you wanted to see a match defensive guide. This guide is 100% match coverage based, and I have to tell you that I think this is the best defensive guide that I've ever put together. I, put, I have put a ton of lab work into this. I've covered how you can run match against trips tight end, bunch, bunch tight end, compression, two by two spread, three by one spread, pretty much every single meta offense that you're gonna face, we have a match coverage that is going to absolutely bag the meta offensive routes that you're gonna face. So without further ado, I want to introduce to you guys the best bunch defense in Madden 22. We're going to be using the play cover four quarters. And I want to first break down the number one problem with this coverage against the gun bunch meta. So as you can see here, I've got some audible set. And that's the clear out SEL. Clear out SEL, the clear out up, and I did a video on this, I think even earlier today, about how good this is against Bunch. And the reason why it's so good is if I simply put the R1 receiver on a corner, I'm gonna be able to literally bomb this coverage for a one play score every single time. Now, up until this point, a lot of pro players and really anybody would tell you, you know what you need to do is you simply need to put the safety on the Bunch side into a deep half zone. The problem is Madden, for whatever reason, has glitched deep halves on the right side of the field, meaning they're not very good on that side of the field. So if my bunch is to the right and I'm on the right hash mark, I can very easily just simply do this and bomb that coverage that was so good, as you can see. So that doesn't work. So what are you supposed to do? How can you run match coverage if you're gonna be giving up one play scores every time? Well. I think that it has to do with the fact that you don't actually understand the number one problem. Every formation has, whenever you're running match, every formation has certain players that are problem childs, the problem players, or players that give the coverage concept a little bit of issue. And in Bunch, that player is actually, last year it was the outside receiver, number 10, Scotty Miller. In this year's game, it's actually the tight end. And I'm gonna show you why. So if you watch this, I'm gonna run this concept right here, and I'm just gonna run the match as is. I'm not making any adjustments, just straight quarters. What you're gonna see is we're gonna get a double team on that tight end post. If you go to the play clear out FLN, the tight end is on a inverted streak or a, basically a middle streak, so he's just running a seam read. Well, if you watch this, he's running this, and you see this guy's looking at the guy he's supposed to go guard. Look, he's like, I'm supposed to go guard him. And then he just gets lost and he goes over here. That's not what he's supposed to do. And he knows it. So how do we fix this problem? Well, there's two solutions that I want to give you. But the first thing I want to do is I want to show another uh, play that is very difficult to guard whenever you're playing match. And that is the play flood. If you watch flood, you're going to see that if I use that deep half adjustment, it's going to basically make flood unguardable. It's going to basically make the flood play impossible to stop at a match and I'll show you what I mean they're gonna throw out route after out route after out route every single play if you run this defense so how do you combat both that flood out route and the one play touchdown out of that concept you deal with the tight end and here's how we're gonna do it we're simply going to user this guy this is a guy that I would already be using anyway but instead of running him on the adjustment that he's on I'm going to man him up on the tight end. What this is going to do is it's going to tell the game, hey, I'm going to take the tight end no matter what. So you don't have to worry about the tight end. I'm worrying about the tight end. And what you're going to see is that same route combination. 
that I was using in the beginning for one plus four is now no longer a problem. As you can see, everything matches appropriately and the defense basically takes away probably the best bunch play for the last three years, clear out of Seattle. Now, if we continue the concept and continue this line of thinking, now what we need to do is say, well, how does this do against the flood play? Well, remember my responsibility is to primarily looking for shallow crossers. So you're gonna see right here that there's no shallow crossers and you see that flood is still kind of messing with us. So how do we stop flood? We're able to stop clear out, but now we're not able to stop flood. And that's kind of how it works in bunch. It's like you stop one play and then there's another concept that's even better. Well, here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna man ourselves up on the tight end and then we're gonna take that slot corner and we're gonna put him into a curl flat zone, just like this. And what you're gonna see is if I go back to the flood play, I'm gonna run at the tight end just real quick so that they don't throw it at him. And as you see there, that out route to the flood receiver is bagged. It's completely taken away. And the cool part about it is if they throw the flat route to the tight end, especially with the latest patch update that Madden has released, and I like to go ahead and manually individually just back him off, right? But with the latest update that Madden released where they basically made flats or like the curl flats play a little bit better against the flats. Now, if they try to throw that flood play, it's gonna be completely bagged. So therein lies your formula, your solution, if you will. All you have to do is man up the tight end and put that slot corner in a purple zone. And for the most part, you're gonna be able to stop the majority of what bunch players like to do. Guys, I wanna thank you for watching the video. I really do appreciate your time and your support. Um, there's obviously a ton more that I didn't say and have time to go into in this video. The bottom line is the match defensive guide is the best piece of material that I feel like I've ever produced. And I really believe that if you get this defense, it's going to change everything about how you defend bunch, compression, U-trips, trips tight in, doubles, spread, any of those sets, you're gonna be able to do this. And the cool part about this is this is match coverage and it can apply to almost any defensive scheme and defensive formation that is in the game. It can apply to 2 4 5 odd. It can apply to the 3 3 5 wide meta. It can apply to the two, uh, the, the dime 2 3 6. It can apply to the dollar 3 2 6. We basically covered how to run these coverages out of any formation in the game. So if you want to learn the entire defense, again, my, my ask from you today is to join my true fan membership. I'm gonna put a link to that in the description. I'm also gonna put a link to that in the comment section below. And I've already got the videos up there. I'm working on getting the write-ups up there for the guide for you. You're gonna instantly get access to this guide as well as every other guide that I've released so far in the Mountain 22 season, which is, I think at this point, nine. Nine eBooks already in October that we've released. So if you wanna get access to it, there's a link in the description below. If you want to just buy the match guide, you don't want to buy the membership, I'll put the link down there to that as well. But my recommendation would be to buy the membership. It's $10 a month, and you can cancel whenever you want and get access to everything. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you check out the game.